matrix representation of a graph part 2 incidence matrix let t is the undirected graph and suppose there are n vertices that is v1 v2 v3 and up to vn and there are m edges in a graph g the incidence matrix with respect to the ordering of V and E is a matrix of order N cross M where the entries are 1 and 0 where 1 indicates that if there is a jth edge that is incident with ith vertex means if jth edge is associated with the ith vertex then in that case we will write the entry as a 1. Otherwise, we will mention it as a 0. For example, for this graph, first we need to calculate the number of vertices. So, the total number of vertices are 5. Now, calculate the number of edges. That is again 5. So, matrix order is, is equal to the cardinality of a vertex set into cardinality of the edge set. So, here number of vertices are 5. So, the matrix for will be 5 cross 5. So now after that write the ordering of vertices and edges. It's very important to write while constructing the incidence matrix for any graph. So in this case first we are taking the ordering of edges on along column wise that is E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and the ordering of the vertices like V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Now first take the edge E1. So E1 edge is associated with the vertex V1 and V4. Then the corresponding entry in the row 1 and 4 is 1. So E1 edge is associated with the vertex V1 and V4. So write in this case as a 1 and 1 and the rest are entries as a 0. Now Take the second edge. Second edge is associated with the vertex V2 and V4. So in this case, second edge is associated with the V2 and V4. And the rest of the entries are 0. Third edge is incident with V2 and V5. So in this case, this entry is 1. And this is also 1 and the rest of the entries are 0. E4 edge is incident with V2 and V3. So V2 means the second row and V3 means the third row. So corresponding entry towards second and the third is 1 and the rest are the 0. So E5 edge is associated with the V3 and V5. So V3 means the third row. V5 means the fifth row. So corresponding entry towards the row 3 and 5 are 1 and others are the 0. So this is the incident matrix for the graph A. Now moving towards the next one. So in a graph B, it is not a simple graph. It consists of the multiple edges and the multiple loop. The procedure is same, just name the edges and the vertices. Now count the number of vertices in this case. So total vertices are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the number of rows will be 5. Now count the number of edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So total number of columns are 8. Now take the first edge E1. So E1 edge is starting from the 1 and ending at a 1. So only in the first row the entry is 1 and the rest are the zeros. Now E2. So E2 edge is incident with V1 and V2. So write it this as a 1 entry and this entry is a 1 because the ordering we are taking as a V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. And the rest of the 0 for the second column. Now for the column 3, this is the edge 3. So edge 3 is again V1 between the V1 and V2. So write this as a 1, 1 and the rest are the zeros. E4 is 
an edge that is between V2 and V5. So V2 and V5 and the rest of the entries are 0. E5, E5 is between V2 and V3. E6, between V3 and V5. E7, between V2 and V4. E8, that is starting and ending at the V4 vertex. So, only this entry is equal to 1 and the rest of the entries are zeros. Next is, there is a two important result we are getting from this incident matrix. You can observe that if any two columns are same, it means these two edges are between the same vertices. Means multiple edges corresponding to the row wise vertices. So you can check it E2 and E3. E2 and E3 lies between the vertices V2 and V1. So this is a multiple edges between the vertex V2 and V1. And in case we are getting exactly one entry is equal to one in a column. So in this case we are getting in the first one and in the last one. So in that case it indicates the self loop corresponding to the row wise vector. It means if we are getting a one exactly one time in any of the column then the corresponding row vertex that is a V1 on V1 we are having a self loop. Similarly, for the 8th column, we are getting an entry exactly 1, 1 time and that is corresponding to the vertex V4. Therefore, there is a self loop over the vertex V4. So, next is for the directed graph. So, incident matrix for the directed graph is of order M cross N where M represents the number of vertices in a graph and n represents the number of edges. Now the entries of the matrix are minus 1, 1 or 0. So minus 1 indicates that the ith vertex is the initial vertex of an jth edge. And plus 1 is corresponding to the ith vertex as a terminal vertex of an jth edge and zero otherwise. Note that if the jth edge which is a self loop on ith vertex in that case rather than writing a minus one we will write entry as a one. For example for this graph g first we need to count the number of vertices so the total number of vertices are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So number of rows are 4. Now columns. To count the number of edges over here. So total edges are 5. Now pick the first edge E1. Next mention the ordering of the vertices and the ordering of the edges. Now the first edge is E1. So E1 edge starts from V1 and ends at V2. So the initial vertex is V1 and the ending vertex is a V2. So in this case when any edge that starts from any vertex corresponding to that vertex we will write minus 1. And if any vertex that is ending at the second 1 and the corresponding value of that vertex is a 1. So in this case the value of V1 is minus 1 and V2 is a 1 and the rest of the entries are 0. Next E2 edge starts from minus 2 so it means their en its entry is minus 1 and ends at V1 so it means its corresponding entry is 1 then rest are the zeros. E3 edge that starts from V2 means its entry is minus 1 and ends at V3 it means that entry is positive 1 and the rest are 0. E4 means it starts and ends at the same point. So when we have a self loop, we will not consider minus 1 in that case. We will just write a positive 1 and the rest of the entries are 0. 
e5 that starts from my v3 so it means its entry is minus 1 and ends at v4 means corresponding entry is a positive 1 and the rest are the 0. So this is the incident matrix for the directed graph.